Superheroes come in all shapes and sizes. And tonight, we'll get to know one by the name of Calden. Our Brenda Mack has the story. Yeah. Yeah. This is Calden. My third favorite thing is pickles. He just started first grade and he carries a super stylish mohawk. He's a rock star. <laughs> and his dad calls him Iron Man because underneath all that armor are battered scars from the past year. Exalt, so that's still a little bruised and a little sore. It was May of last year when Cowden's family noticed something unusual. On the fourth week, we had started to get migraines. He had started to cry with his head hurting so bad and he was still throwing up. We've tested everything and we wanted a CT scan. And that's when they found the tumor in his head. At only five years old, Cowden was diagnosed with a rare form of brain cancer that's usually found in adults. It's a golf ball size. It was stage three. Uh, I was in a stage shock. <laughs> About six brain surgeries now, I think. Four tumor removals. And this year, doctors found a new tumor forming in a different part of his brain. I cry because it feels like it's happening to me. It's it's just really scary, and he screams and it's sad. He's on a new treatment now where we actually use three different types of chemos. It's all orally he takes. Yet through all this, were you afraid? No. Everywhere Cowden goes, he carries a light that fills the room. The kid goes through a lot of pain, and he still walks around with a smile on his face. You know. He has shown us all what strength is, and he's energetic and smiley all the time, no matter what. Doesn't matter the time frame that he's been given. He's kicking cancer's butt. Cowden is now on three months with no tumor growth and his journey is just beginning. What do you want to be when you grow up? Doctor in the nose. In Laporte, Brenda Mack, Litman News. And you can show your support for Calden this Saturday at the second annual Ride for Calden fundraiser. The ride will begin at Laporte's third base bar at 11 in the morning. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.